Welcome back to My Mafia YouTube channel. Today we'll be installing Blue Hummer Lock and Spindle Nut. It is the number one recommended modification for all Humvee and H1 owner. Let's get started. All the instruction for this installation can be found at modmafia.com. It is printed and we do include it with every kit that being shipped out. First, get your bearings and all your rays in place ready to go. We're going to need a notch washer. Put on the spindle and we're going to take the locking nut with the groove to where the snap ring goes in. Bevel side on top. There are procedures to put this on and you seat the bearings with this nut at 40 foot pound and you'll rotate the hub clockwise five times and counterclockwise five times to make sure that the bearings and the rays are where they need to be so that way everything is seated correctly so we set this at 40 Take a pry bar, put it between the studs to hold the spindle in place. One, two, three, four, five. Now what's going to happen is the bearing is going to seat and there's going to be a little bit of slop that's being taken out so this is going to move a little bit. So what you want to do is repeat the steps until there is no more movement when you tighten it at 40 foot pound. There's quite a bit of movement on this one. So we're going to do this one again. Typically it takes two or three tries to get all the slack out of the bearings in the race. Yep, that one moves a little bit, so we're gonna have to do this one more time. This ensures everything's seated correctly where they needs to be and the bearing has the correct degree load. And 40 is not a final torque on the locking spindle nut. It's just to get everything seated correctly. And the final torque is a 25 foot pound. So we'll follow up with that after this. Okay, so now everything seated at 40 foot pound. All the slacks is out of it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen the spindle nut and reduce the torque to 25 foot pound, which is one more. Gonna go spin it one more time to make sure that everything stays seated. This is a lot easier when it's done on the bench versus on the vehicle because the bearings are tapered and they tend to slide away from each other. So when it's on the bench, gravity is a little bit on your side. Okay, so that works. And 
this is a retaining nut or a retaining ring what it does is it locks the nut to the notch washer and there's six position and one of them is going to fall in not that one and there you go so that's what you want just drops right in there's no binding and we lock this one in place with a snap ring like to rotate them back and forth just to make sure they're all in a group and we are done for any more questions feel free to contact us at modmafia.com and uh, like this video if you find this information useful and leave in the comment below or what else you want to see us do a video on uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time